Beautiful. He's going to go for the Renekton this time around. I will say, we've been seeing Camille's get the best of that matchup today, which I don't know how much that's down to jungler intervention or the matchup changing because of items, but it's feeling like Camille is in a really good... Of, uh... I'm going to try and say the name. Zigenyu, I'm going to say, yeah. but I don't know. He's looking like Miz, is all I'm going to say, based on... <laughs> Between junglers, is always going to go in favor of Harrow, so you don't want to be sticking around too long. Oh, here we go. Dive on the bottom side. Harrow's here. We've got a TP from Forge as well. The double taunt is there, and Jolly is not long for this world. I mean, there's something about Ace, about Ace but unfortunately for him, there's just no nothing working for him. And great setup here again from Chocho. So goes in, gets the CC to get them nice and low, gets some at least poke damage off before they go for this dive. And then you don't really need to do much else as this Alistair, as you've already got that taunt and the CC coming in, was called down to try and help Lion in their last game. It meant that he on the Camille couldn't really do very much for himself, but... I don't know, man. Yeah. Wait, that, why why the is thing, nobody respecting what Alistair does? And the thing is, Chocho hasn't even had to use his flash. Zib now getting chased down by Lane. I don't know about this yeah. one, though. Uh, Lane has his ult up. He's going to use that pretty late, though. He's just going to go down here. Kill goes the way of Harrow. Now Chuyu into alone. In comes the Galio. Forge gets the kill with the power slam. Straight in towards that top side. Like, just beautifully played. But we're going to get a replay of what was happening bot side. And finally, Chocho uses the flash. And it's to the detriment of the page. say, on the top half of the map, there's still potential here for the side of HMG, though. It's a long way away, though. Is spot? <laughs> no! I'm yeah, trying to give them again. something it's dead here, again. Man. Oh, God, it's a disaster. <laughs> oh, God. This, what can I say? What can I say? That it's... Dragons it's... and all things. Nice. There's just, like, a gaping hole now in HMG's defense through that bot side of the map. And no matter how well Lane does on this Renekton, he's still Renekton. He's not going to be able to hard. I don't even know if we're going to get skirmishes. Honestly, I mean, if I'm looking at this Rift Herald, I'm not touching this as HMG. Like, we're behind pretty much across the board. I mean, top <laughs> lane is doing okay, I suppose, and he's dead. Here we go. I wouldn't have touched this fight, but they're going to go for it anyway. It is 3v2, so maybe they can turn this one around. They've got one kill onto Ziv. In comes Caro from the bottom side. Janna still only level 5 and gets absolutely obliterated. In goes Chocho to finish off the kill. That's his third of the game, I believe, as Lion's ordered by Forge on the bottom side of the fight. In he comes with the Galio, knock up and a takedown onto Chuyu. Harrow with the kill credit, and Lai realizes that he's late to the party and he's not going to be able to get anything here. He's running into the wrong side of the map right now, and I don't think there's much chance of him getting out of this one alive. Hops over the wall here. It's going to be Betty trying to chase him down. I don't think Lai has to damage the one shot, and he will go the down. The biggest issue is that they keep trying to force these plays rather than just going in and trying to scare them. <laughs> Speaking of forcing a play, they're going on to Ziv, but he zips over the wall because he's Camille. And, uh, well, <laughs> that's that's how a dog dealt with. Lai now goes down in the mid lane because Rogue Warriors are going to answer elsewhere. In the meantime, Forge is going to TP towards the top side so they can answer. They're not looking to trade. They're looking to take the mid lane tower and some kills in the top side right here. Ziv gets away with murder here. Can he walk away dodging the Q's fancy footwork? He's got swords for legs, but he doesn't have a spell shield available. Will go down in the end. Path is cheap. And I can see the little grin on Lane's face as well as that happened. But Betty's in a 2v1 now. Yeah, Betty might just be able to win oh, this no! one. The W misses though, still gets the kill, but it's a shutdown into the pocket of Jolly. Finally, something for him to laugh about. <laughs> I mean, he does get the... Oh, wait, Harrow. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I've just witnessed the murder. Good God. Nobody told me this was a horror film. <laughs> It's all gone disastrous lane. Now diving under the tower. You've gone too deep. No. What is happening? No. This is the most rogue warriors. Just be rogue warriors against them. They've they've been there. They've done that. They understand they this style this. better. <laughs> yeah. But oh, oh god. god, it's just been kill after kill, disaster after disaster for HMG. Is I mean, just look at the scoreline. Three zero five for Graves. Nerdy got the Gale Force completed. 5-0 and zero on this Galio rocket belt done. Kraken Slayer for the 6-1 and one Kaisen. Rogue Warriors are massive right now. Yeah, and I'm not going to lie, Dagda. This may not be the highest quality League of Legends we've ever seen. 
but I'm having a whale of a time. <laughs> this is my kind of League of Legends. Just absolute brawling. <laughs> Jojo's behind him! Here comes Jojo <laughs> from Narnia, by the way. And uh, Harry's going to be here with the Q. Should be able to finish the kill. Oh, no, Jolly gets the kill. He turned it around. And now Jojo might actually be able to kill Jolly if he's not careful when the cooldowns come back up. Jolly realizes it and has to back away. Headbutt onto lane, but in with the slice and dice. Jojo's stunned. We'll look to try and get away, but slowed here by the Janna. This going to yeah. be on the bot side. Emergency meeting, they're like, listen, buddy, I saw you, man. Anything you want to say before we kick you off of the shredded <laughs> as it is during the lighting. Yeah, I mean, the, the, we're certainly starting to get to the point where Ziv is going to be in control here. However, top side. Ah, uh, well, Janna's dead again. Chocho's here, he's just tanking the tower, basically for no reason. Nobody was even diving, he just wanted to tank the tower. In comes the card assault, but the spell shield from Galio just hard counters it. The thumbs up from Forge as he flies through the air. He's feeling jolly now after all of this. And uh, Jolly, speaking of, it's just arrived on the scene. In comes Lai as well, Chocho just tanks everything. Betty the target now. We'll be able to turn it around one for one here. Jolly has to walk away with his head between his legs. I mean... They're still looking here. Jolly gets a shield. <laughs> Can you not? I, 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 what are you doing? I can understand. I oh my god. I can understand why they swapped in Zagenyu. Because at least he realized. Yeah. Rogue Warriors are a heavy favorite coming into this one, right? This is a team that, towards the end of 2020, actually had a run towards playoffs. Didn't quite make it, but. They actually looked gamers against full-time students at the end of the day, so you have to respect the fact that Rogue Warriors should be dominating this matchup. So I don't want to, yeah. I don't yeah. want to flame these guys too much. Yeah, and I mean, look, these guys have been like, as we said before, two-time world champions, four-times national champions, and um, they are basically oh, doing what we're seeing world, now yeah. of the collegiate. Yeah, so basically what we're seeing right now of Rogue Warriors to HMG is what HMG has done to every other college. <laughs> they're, they're the SKT of college teams. Yes. Uh, but unfortunately, this ain't college games and uh, Rogue Warriors are making Pessy on this Kaisa. Like, they can just melt through a first three autos with Halo Blades just kills people. Exactly. Exactly. You have attack speed for the first three autos and nobody survives them. So why not go Collector, I guess? He's got a bunch of daggers now, so maybe he's even braided at this point. Going on to lane, in comes Jojo from the side as well. They're quite happy to two versus four tower dive this one. Four just TP'd in, gets the CC chain on to lie, and basically one shots him. That's a Galio. I mean, I don't know what else I'm supposed to add to this. It's just been domination from the get go. Every lane looking fantastic for Rogue Warriors. Pretty much to kind of be as expected coming into this, but looks like Forge gonna get the last call. Yeah, that's gonna be a kill on the line. They get the bottom inhibitor. Harrow's finally decided that it's time to join the team and group up to try and finish this game out. There's a super pushing through the mid lane in just a moment or two as Zip dives onto Jolly. The Camille Galio combo just obliterates everyone on HMG. And well, there's not a whole lot more to say about this one because this is more than she wrote at this stage. The book has ended and we're on to the new chapter. And uh, Lane's desperately trying to do anything, but another taunt comes on down, and that's going to finish this one out. 0, 12, and 4 for the Janna, but you know what? I mean, I have a silver lining. I was going to try to add a silver lining, but look <laughs> at the kill score. In he goes. Lai gets one for himself. 36 to 7. Almost two kills per minute from Rogue Warriors here. That dagger was brutal. They almost have three players of double digits. Like, that just wasn't fair for her to finish. Rogue Warrior, at least Betty and Chocho seem to be clicking for this. Yeah, I mean, it's again, we not having, uh, not having the best game of his career. Well, I'm I can't trying. say I'm that. I'm just trying to pull out anything. <laughs> I really...